family and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Erika Bongo and this is the Unconventional Christ Follower. This week we're going to be doing something slightly different to wrap up with our series of videos on how to build a relationship of intimacy with Christ. So this week I went out and had a conversation with some fellow Christians on their experiences on their personal relationship with Christ and that's what we're going to be looking at in this final edition of how to build a relationship of intimacy with Christ. The journey has been an interesting one where I realized that my experience and the lessons I learned are like most of the people, some of the people and actually none of the people I actually got to interact with. That's only to show how God is diverse in how he communicates and he relates to us on our daily basis. So I hope you're going to enjoy the discussion and check it out. So now we're going to welcome our guests. Let's move right into it. My first question to my friends here is how does having a relationship with God or not having one actually uh, looks like on a daily basis in your life, in your interactions with your friends, your family members, your partner, your boyfriend, girlfriend, or even your classmates? Yes, Gomez, it's you, right? Okay, cool. I think like for me, right, uh, in my experience, it, it sort of kind of depends on who you're with. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, which space are you in? Um, do you have shared beliefs? Do you not? Mm -hmm. Because in some spaces, it really looks like, I think, I don't want to assume anyone's familiar with, let's say, Christian values, mm -hmm. right? But um, let's say you are following the Christian values, and mm -hmm. it's like, in this setting, it's cool. Mm -hmm. There's no pressure. You know what I mean? It's like you're just interacting with people mm -hmm. and it looks like you would usually expect it to. Normal conversation, friendly atmosphere, mm -hmm. everyone's interacting well. In other atmospheres, it's not the same. They're kind of like questions. Okay. So sometimes I'd say it looks peaceful, sometimes it looks violent. But in terms of my own personal experience, I prefer to just interact honestly. Okay. You know, I don't want to say like there is a... Do ABC. Okay. And this is what it's like. It's like you follow the values, you follow the, let's say, the Ten Commandments, the teachings of Jesus, mm -hmm. and you do your thing, you know what I mean? With, according to your own personality mm -hmm. as well. Because I think how I express my fellowship might look different to how you do it or how anybody else does it. So you're saying that it all depends on the context in which you are and the person that you are with, right? Yeah, I, mm -hmm. definitely. Because like, I'll be honest, the way I interact with you mm -hmm. might not be the same way I'm going to interact with my grandmother. Okay. We're both Christian. Nice. Honestly, we are. <laughs> but it's going to look so different <laughs> in how I speak, in how I express, in how I um, share my knowledge. If I share my knowledge. You know what what I mean? do you guys think? <laughs> I agree. Because I also know like, if I have to think with my aunts, when, when we when we just praying like uh, they, they, they always throw a lot of verses you mm -hmm. know what i mean mm -hmm. like isaiah 21 verse 5 I'm like, okay <laughs> cool My, I, I know for me like a conversation like let's say like he said with you would be mm -hmm. very different to how we'll talk about it with my mom mm -hmm. you know so it's i guess with friends it's more casual it's mm -hmm. more relaxed easy going more easy okay. going but then when you also know those times where if you're out in public there's certain you, you, you can't talk about it with everybody. Yes. Like you, there's certain people who just aren't toler like don't tolerate it, mm -hmm. and then there's others who do. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, Asanda, uh, do you perhaps sometimes feel scared or uncomfortable to share your beliefs with some people? Yeah. Um. There are times when I feel welcomed. Mm -hmm. Like when I come into setting, I feel like I can be myself. Mm -hmm. And then there are times where I feel like, okay, let's rather not. Okay. Because people might get offended or something. So yeah, mm -hmm. there are times when I feel afraid. Yeah, people so, get offended easy. Okay, so when you touch on the topic of religion and God, people feel like maybe you're imposing it on them or something like yeah. that. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah all that. sometimes mm -hmm. see their face. Okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah. But I think it's also a matter of how you bring it about. Okay. Because if you're going to bring it about in a way that's like, trying to impose or judgmental then mm -hmm. it's going to be awkward mm -hmm. unlike if you're just having like a normal conversation and then 
you bring it up a lot. Uh, but I think there are certain spaces where I would say maybe it's not necessarily welcome. Mm -hmm. Like I'm just thinking back to class, right? Yes. Um, abnormal, we had friends who mm -hmm. would um, always bring a Bible for us when we're talking about you know, yeah. class yeah. content. Yeah. And the yeah. moment he's like, according to the teachings of the Bible, he was like, oh, <laughs> France. Here we, <laughs> Here we go again, <laughs> France. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so people were like, how do we discipline kids? The Bible says you must not spare the child the rod. Yeah. Ah, France. You know, so it's like... Yeah. <laughs> so what are some of the obstacles that you face, like in your own space, in your own journey with God? Like, some of the things that you just find that, you know, I wish I was able to overcome this. Temptations. Yes. <clears throat> We face them all the time and sometimes you want to try, experiment things mm -hmm. and it's a matter of, it goes in the heart where you sort of decide, do I do it, do I not? Like in every situation I feel like mm -hmm. you're faced with the temptation of conforming to the world, conforming to the world mm -hmm. or pleasing God. Mm -hmm. So that's one of my biggest obstacles. Okay. Another one is... Um, trying to tell people about God but mm -hmm. not making them feel like I'm imposing my mm -hmm. beliefs or um, I'm trying to judge them mm -hmm. so yeah do you guys also like experience something similar or you have different ones okay I know from for mine like especially when people ask those difficult questions like mm -hmm. why if God is so good mm -hmm. why are there so much <laughs> suffering and all of that and then mm -hmm. I struggle to give a really good answer mm -hmm. because also like there's some questions which I'm struggling with. You okay. know, like, you know, why is there so much suffering? Why, mm -hmm. you know, why would if he like also like for, <coughs> for me I'm also just like why? How do I say it? It's my also the struggle is just people say a lot of different things about God, so mm -hmm. it gets confusing. Okay. So my struggle is just trying to hear him personally. Like, what are you saying, God? Like, you know, trying his side. So his it's side. like trying to zone in. Mm -hmm and not allow the noise of the outside to prevent you from hearing his voice. That's one of the uh, challenges that you face, right? Yeah. So, uh, Pelo, do you have anything? My challenge is, yeah, my challenge is praying. Praying, yeah. so you struggle to pray. I don't know pray. how to pray, guys. Like, <laughs> I don't. Mm -hmm. But I do pray, dear God, mm -hmm. and that's it. Okay, so you just say, dear God. Yeah. And do you feel like he answers you by just saying, dear God? Yes. Okay. I feel like, Mm -hmm. You know when people pray, they'd be saying all these Bible scriptures and whatnot. For me, mm -hmm. I'd like to tell people that I don't really like pray, pray as in praying. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I talk to God. Because sometimes, you know, maybe I'm walking to the house and I'm just talking. And I consider that as praying, praying for me. Yeah, yeah. I think so, sometimes just saying, God, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and yeah, so it's, and it's, it's actually <laughs> very interesting because if you think about it, prayer is just a conversation. And sometimes we make it sound like old, you know, fancy and yes, for those who are comfortable doing that, it's okay. But then at the end of the day, prayer is just a conversation. It doesn't matter how you, you have it. it. You might be sitting, lying down, walking or whatever the position. And I'm sure God hears you. But do you think it's a two-way conversation? Because I feel like most people think it's a one-way. Mm -hmm. Like they expect to... They talk, but they don't expect a response. Mm -hmm. So do you personally believe that you can get a response? Yes, you do. I guess it all just then depends on how you relate to God and how, you know, you, he, he speaks to you because he speaks to us differently. And the way he might speak to you might not necessarily be the same way he speaks to me. And I guess it's also just being aware of how he speaks to you and being able to listen to him when he speaks to you. So... Gomez, do you have anything you would like to... Okay, um, I think my response is sort of similar to both of theirs in a way. It's sort of like, for me, I've sort of taken issue with... Uh, I, don't, I don't say taken issue, but I've sort of started questioning. Okay. Um, should I say the knowledge base? Okay. Where does everything come from? Where does the knowledge come from? Mm -hmm. You know, because I started realizing it's like, whenever people would ask me, why are you a Christian? Mm -hmm. It's like, my honest answer would have always been, 
it's what I was taught. Mm -hmm. This is what I was told okay. from the moment I was young. You know, it was like we're going to church. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a choice. Mm -hmm. You're wearing your Sunday best. We're going to church. I was raised Catholic. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I never actually got to know the word. I never actually got to know where um, the beliefs came from, mm -hmm. where the practices came from, mm -hmm. how, why things are done the way they're done. I didn't know. Why? Why do we do this? Because mm -hmm. they saved so a church. That that was legit my entire knowledge base. So I'd say my my issue now is I'm sort of just deciding. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I think I need to sort of take all of that, but sort of start learning for myself. For yourself. You know so you I mean? want to be as more involved in your own relationship as opposed to just using what you've learned from other people. Yeah, I, I want to know mm -hmm. where things came from, how things mm -hmm. developed, where um, where the practices began, mm -hmm. why they're still practiced, why mm -hmm. certain practices were taken away, you know, um, how the Bible came together. There's mm -hmm. so many stories around that alone. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, mm -hmm. cool. I don't know enough. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like anywhere where I could say, oh, I'm Christian or, oh, okay, I'm not Christian. Yes. It was like, I don't know, actually. Yeah. So I want to learn. Guys, if I had to like throw a spin, what would you say to somebody who might be experiencing the same issue that you are experiencing right now? Because I'm sure a lot of people might relate to your experiences and maybe you might say something that you might have done to kind of overcome these challenges that you're facing. So I just say it's a journey, but just mm -hmm. stick with it. Just know it. A lot of people pretend like they know the answers they don't. Mm -hmm. You know, these questions we're having, other people are having it, so just, mm -hmm. I, bet, I guess the best thing I can say is just keep an open mind. Okay. Be patient, keep an open mind, and mm -hmm. then just, as long as you remain focused on like your love for God, mm -hmm. I feel like the answers will eventually come through. And also, it, sometimes we just have to do what feels right for you. Because, mm -hmm. like in, in, in the example I made with the prayer, mm -hmm. if you're going to try and imitate how other people are praying, it's mm -hmm. going to be a problem, because you are going to feel like you're not really doing anything yeah. until you do something that you feel is working for you. Mm -hmm. And then you find maybe a way where you feel like, okay, if I communicate this way, mm -hmm. I feel much better. Then okay. maybe you can do That's very that. interesting because if you think about it, our relationship with God sometimes can be unique. It does not necessarily have to conform to everything that, you know, everyone else says. So yeah, I think that's a valid point. And Gomez? Take the time to learn. Mm -hmm. I think um, that's something that actually helped me. Just take the time to actually learn. Mm -hmm. um, not just doing as you're told or going with the flow, but actually knowing. Because I think um, that actually allows you to come to a choice for yourself. You know what I mean? It's like when you make that decision based on information that you receive, that you learn, that you actually understand, mm -hmm. that then you can actually come to a, a place where you actually follow. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because like, I think a lot of times in my youth, it's like, I don't think I understood anything. Okay. Not really. There was no understanding. I didn't understand what it means to be a Christian. I didn't understand what it means to um, know the gospel. So, whenever, so you were just following just whatever following. mom and my grandmother. And, yeah. And, so okay. when it comes to, I fell off. Why did you fall off? Because they said you fell off, Gomez. So <laughs> act right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm saying, something that has helped me, something I'm still doing. I mm -hmm. only recently started this. Mm -hmm. Taking the time to learn. Wow. That way I can come to my own understanding. So do you like read the Bible and all the, yeah, do both. You do research online or? Um, well more of I met someone, um, okay. Lelo, who actually knows this stuff. Okay. So ask questions. Wow, you know what I mean? Actually interact. Because mm -hmm. like when you ask him why is it like this, he'll tell you. Mm -hmm. You know, he had a really deep understanding of it. You know, that deep understanding where he didn't just tell it to you, mm -hmm. he challenged you to actually think about it critically. Wow. You know, sort of like I'll say take take the word like it were school. You know what I mean? You don't just go in class and they tell you this and it's just like, oh, this is how it is, shop. They're like, no, 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 what if I was lying to you? Yeah. Question, learn, know, understand. Then you can say you're actually living according to. Sure, yeah. And also just adding what Gomez said, because I know also I feel like what actually pushes people away from God mm -hmm. is that attitude of, no, this, this is how it is, this is what mm -hmm. I told you, so mm -hmm. do it, you know. Mm -hmm. I know I have a friend who, he, he had questions about it because he wanted to experience God, mm -hmm. but then 
you know, every time you ask the question, you just get getting told, no, this is because the Bible said so, because you have to do it. You have to do it. And eventually, he actually became atheist. Like, he, in so. a day, he just gave up. He's like, you know what, these guys don't know anything. Maybe there is no God. Mm -hmm. Sandra, do you have anything you want to add? I'd say talk to him. Talk to you know, him, right? like, tell him, God, I've done this. I want to get closer to you. Mm -hmm. Show me a way, mm -hmm. if it is a way. Show me a sign. Mm -hmm. Make me what you want me to be, but help me in the process. So and reach out. Yeah. And he can reach out, yeah. right? So guys, is, do you think there's any benefit in having a relationship with God, a personal relationship? Yeah. What are some of the benefits you can think of? So some of the benefits I found in my own relationship with God is that uh, I learned to be grounded as a person because and then I'm very comfortable engaging with other people's ideas without necessarily feeling threatened. And this is something that I learned because of the relationship I established. Because one thing I noticed is, you know, some Christians, you, they would be very scared to even try and engage with other people's beliefs. Why? Because they're not comfortable enough to go that route because they think I might go and never come back. So this is one of the benefits that I really, you know, got from building this relationship with God because I know where I stand and I know who's holding my back. So I don't know if you guys have like something else. The first one is peace. Okay. Like with all that's going on in the world, be it cause, be it the gender-based violence and everything, the peace of knowing that it's just temporary. There's an eternity waiting for me that is wow. 10 times much that's better. <laughs> that always, that's a benefit for me, unlike someone else who doesn't have that peace. Mm -hmm. Second one is hope, hope for a better place, mm -hmm. which is kind of similar, but that living with hope that, okay, this is for now, and we hope for a better place mm -hmm. is one of my benefits. To eternity. Yeah, like cost can tell me now and every day. Just don't forget to live life because you're still on earth, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Similar to what she said, for me, like, I remember I had a friend who asked me, why are you always so calm? Well, one of the reasons, because I know if something's going bad, I know God's got my back, so I know it'll work out in the end, so I don't stress, you Jake. Sort of like taking away responsibility to some extent. Not really. In the sense, like, I get that question, but it's in the sense that mm -hmm. I know I'll do what I can, mm -hmm. but I know that if it doesn't look like it's working out, let's say I got fired from a job, I know it's going to work out because God is going to provide me with a better job, you know. So all I have to do is just do my part, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So you so, do your best mm -hmm. where you fall short. Exactly, wherever He guides me, that's where I'll go, basically, is what I'm saying. Gomez? Well, I think my touching point is sort of more similar to yours. Um, how do I describe this? It's sort of like I think my foundation mm -hmm. is heavily Christian. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? In terms of morals, beliefs, um, behavioral codes, that kind of stuff. I, th I honestly learned it all from the church. Mm -hmm. Or however my parents taught it to me, it was taken from the church. So. Um, I know those morals and those beliefs aren't strictly Christian mm -hmm. morals, you know, but I learned them through Christianity. Oh, okay. So for me, that's something that I learned as a benefit from that. It has had a large impact in how I interact with myself, how mm -hmm. I interact with the world, mm -hmm. and how I relate to the environment around, around me, you. Mm -hmm. you know. So that's been something that has been very influential for me okay. in a positive way. I think I generally interact well with people and relate well to people, mm -hmm. and I I honestly owe a great deal of that to the morals that I learned. Mm -hmm.